clubs down here all the PlayStation 4, some of them are wearing T-shirts and all kinds of good stuff. Johnson, Sophie Miller does have a, a long throw and bursting onto the ball here is Emily Salmon with an early chance. Just leave it off the ball, some strong defending, but Emily Salmon has gone on and scored in 32 seconds. And Durham Johnston lead. Well, she did so well to resist the challenge. Well, you've got to say the ball over the top, it just went to sleep, didn't they? Blenheim caught out in these early, early stages of the game. The throw in over the head, over another one, and she's away. Good first touch, great second touch. You just think, is she going to wilt under the challenge? She doesn't. She holds her form. Clearances by Tabby Noble. Opportunity again for Teal to feed the ball into the box, and it almost comes for Bouye. Support from Derry, and we've seen how she can shoot, and she's done it again, and this time she's found the back of the net. Amelie Derry equalises. We've had five minutes. It's Blenheim High School 1, Durham Johnson 1. High quality strike from range by Amelie Derry. What a stunning strike this is. You just think they're in the box. She's going to have the composure just to set it back, Amelie. Boye. Oh. Absolutely no chance for Erin Jack in the goal. It's a wonderful strike, superb finish. We're back on level terms inside five minutes and we've got a real cracking game on our hands here. It's uh, Derry's 13th goal of the run. There is a bit of a joke inside the camp that she needs 25 shots to score once. Well, <laughs> she's had two today and she has scored once. She got a hat trick in the Surrey Cup final just last week, so she's in form. Goalkeeper committed, oh. and here's another chance, and another goal for Salmon. Terrible mix-up in the uh, Blenheim defence. Absolute presence of a goal. And no sooner had Blenheim got themselves back on terms, and with six minutes gone, they're behind again. Well, that's remarkable, isn't it? Totally innocuous sort of ball forward into that area. You think it's going to be dealt with by probably Casey Bray. She's got to hook it, clear it. Look at the frustration by the goalkeeper. She's got to be careful she doesn't get injured. Their football. It's another long throw and it's caused another problem here for the Blenheim defence and the referee's got a call to make and he's given a penalty. They just haven't dealt with that long throw at any stage of this game. And it was uh, a pretty clear shove in the back. Now it's another throw in they haven't dealt with, isn't it? Straight through. I think it's Ocean Garman coming in. Bundles are over. Pretty easy decision for the referee to make. Emily Salmon, who won the penalty, has now got a chance to complete a hat trick. Very confidently done. 90 minutes play. And Durham Johnston lead by three goals to one. And Salmon has a hat trick. Oh, remarkable. Hat trick inside uh, 19 minutes and. Emily Salmon. I beg your pardon, I don't think she took the penalty. I think the penalty may have been taken actually by Holly Middleton. Eight and nine are quite similar on numbers. I think that's Holly Middleton, isn't it? In the, uh, in the red boots, yeah. Yes, Holly Middleton right. it is, yeah. Good run by Salmon. Reed is up with her. It's Reed shooting this time. It's just why did it? Yeah, it's a good save, I think, by uh, Lara Sparrow. Well, I think this could well be in contention for possibly saving the tournament. Let's maybe make the shortlist. She does well. I mean, you've got to give credit to Sheeran. She sticks at it. And then that's fantastic. Let's it run across her body and look at that for a save. Absolutely brilliant from Lara Sparrow. Forced away by Miller. Hit by Derry. Chance for Teal. And they've got one back on the stroke of half time. It fell rather fortuitously for Bex Teal. But she kept ahead and slotted what could prove to be a vital goal for Blenheim High School. Well, what a time to score, and it's Emily Derry with the miss hit. And she's found on a number of occasions Bex Teal in that channel. She didn't mean it on that occasion, and what a time to score the equaliser. That will really change the whole atmosphere within that dressing room. At 3-2, it's a very different game as it was 3-1. Durham totally in the ascendancy for much of the game numerically, but I think that's a fair reflection of this half, blending with their tails up.
The English Schools FA PlayStation Schools Cup Festival coming live to you from the Medeski Stadium in Reading. We have got a cracking under 14 girls final at the break. It's Blenheim High School 2, Durham Johnston School 3. They'll be tiring a little bit. Here's Teal. Fed into Walder. Mesbet had so much space in the centre for a moment there. Still Teal, just beyond Mesbet this time. Still an opportunity this time for Pinchbeck and now for Bouye. Stayed on her feet. Oh, it's a great ball to Walder and a really good goal. 3 3. Hooked in at the far post by Bronte Walder. Lenin High's leading goal scorer, but all the credit really to the uh, skill on that audacious cross from Amy Bouye. Oh, what wonderful composure from Amy Bouye, held off the challenge, would have been really tempted to have taken the shot, maybe thinking about a few moments earlier where she was through and could have scored and, well, Bronte Walder, top scorer I think for this team, Blenheim, and they're back on level terms. I think she can in towards Derry. Strong play by Amelie Derry in towards Walder. It's come for Teal. She's got a chance to win it, and she has won it. Rebecca Teal steers home the winning goal in the final minute. And Blenheim High School, 3-1 down during the first half. Lead for the first time in the game, and what a time to take the lead with Bex Teal's second goal for them. Well, if you thought the first one was important just before half-time, what about this one? Surely the winner. She's had a couple of opportunities. I don't think there's any time for Durham Johnson to get back in this game. And, well, incredible scenes here at the end of the game. Seconds left. And have they got any time to put Lara Sparrow under any sort of pressure? Still an opportunity. Salmon couldn't quite make the most of this time. Unbeaten all season long. They've been staring defeat in the face for much of this final. But Blenheim High School have come from behind to win the under-14 girls tournament with virtually the last kick of the game. John, you've seen all the finals here this week. Have you seen a more exciting match? Well, I've never seen drama quite like it. We've seen 11 games and this is just quite remarkable scenes who would have thought when they were 3-1 down heading to me here is Stuart Millard the team manager for the winning team at Blenheim uh, Stuart that was quite a roller coaster of a match today oh we always had faith we knew that if we kept playing our football that we'd uh We'd get a goal, but we, we left that one a little bit too late for my <laughs> liking. <laughs> it was fair to say uh, the attacking units were on, t on top on both sides. 4-3, real roller coaster game, but uh, you know a really good performance for the girls to sort of you know really get down to it and, and grind the result out. Yeah, they've they've won in different ways all season. They always stick to the ethos of playing football, and that's what won us the game. Then I think we just applied pressure, 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 and eventually we scored. Yeah, you've had a good support here. I can see uh, a lot of parents there. Hello, parents. And the girls still taking the plaudits. It looks like you're going to stay dry as well, which is unusual. But Can well, you not well, say that <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, where do you go f with this team now from here on? Uh, well, we're going to keep trying to get to places like this and winning trophies like this. There's no stopping now. They're going to push on. They're going to get better and better. And we'll hopefully be in the Champions League in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely. Well, you know, there's hundreds of teams entered this. This is not the old days of girls football where you only got eight or ten teams. Hundreds and hundreds of teams have entered and your team have come out on top. It's going to be a nice little journey home today for you. I'm looking forward to the coach ride home and the celebrations afterwards and uh, maybe we can have a bank holiday at school tomorrow. <laughs> we'll, ask, uh, we'll ask Mr Bodo, the head teacher. Maybe they'll cancel <laughs> exams or something like that. Look, Stuart, <laughs> thank you very much for your time. Congratulations and well done, Blenheim. Thank you.